Good morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. We are back with another random tier list. Today is St. Patrick's Day. We are talking today about leprechauns, specifically these leprechauns, talking about which of these I could take in a fight. That's right, this is a continuation of the revival of things I could fight. The series uh, res resumed this series yesterday after months off. Uh, we're going to do a couple episodes this week, and today, St. Patrick's Day, we're talking about leprechauns. So here's our rankings that we can put them in. Very top, this means I'd punt that thing to the moon. Being a leprechaun, I hope I can, you know, actually do that. And then you guys can see I'd win without much trouble. I'd win with injuries. 50-50 even fight. Lose, but good fight. Lose pretty easily. And then I'd get destroyed. Um, so we have a, the full spectrum here of what might happen to me. If I, a six foot four, slightly overweight guy without real, real fighting experience and without any weapons, got thrown all those parameters, uh, would do in these fights. So the first one we got up here, guys, is Baby Leprechaun. Baby Leprechaun, if you search Leprechaun on Google, this is the first one that'll pop up. Baby Leprechaun is super, super cute, but let's face it, I would punt this thing to the moon. If it ever came that I, you know, gunned to my head, I had to punt this Baby Leprechaun. Um, well, actually, I don't know what situation where I'd have to punt a baby in. Maybe maybe we shouldn't go deeper in that. But but I, I could, okay? I, I just want to throw that out there, that I could. All right. Uh, we have Lucky, the Leprechaun from... The Boston Celtics. This uh, particular mascot looks a little overweight, um, but he's been around the block. You know, he's been doing this a long time. Um, you know, the Celtics are a great team. They're going to have his back. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, I do think that he would beat me, if I'm being honest, but I do think that, uh, you know, I could put up a good fight against him. So, good fight, but he's going to beat me. He has the edge. Next up, we have the Leprechaun from the horror movie Leprechaun. And from that series, there's a whole series on it. And without even seeing all the movies, I know that this thing would absolutely destroy me. I never want this thing to enter my home or my reality. So, yeah, I'd get destroyed by that. A leprechaun that is in this reality is Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle is a uh, wrestler, was in WWE for a long time. I think he's still kind of wrestling in some places. I think he goes by Swoggle now because WWE owns the trademark to Hornswoggle. I'm going to give the respect to Hornswoggle here, former WWE Cruiserweight Champion. 50-50 uh, even fight here. Um, he's definitely a, a feisty one, and I don't know if I could straight up say that I have the advantage against him. You know, he felled a lot of opponents larger than himself in the WWE, and I am not uh, going to put it past him for him to use some type of foreign object in this fight uh, to cheat to win, as is the Leprechaun way. So a 50-50 even fight. I'm going to beat the Leprechaun from Luck of the Irish without too much trouble. This was a really bad Disney movie from, like, 2005. You guys remember when Disney released, like, these these Disney movies every, like, month or whatever? And they'd have, like, the people in the corner and they'd, like, spell Disney. Like, they'd, like, you know, they'd have the, the stick and they'd, like, outline Disney. I can't explain it any better than that. That was a horrible description. But, yeah, Luck of the Irish, 2005 TV Disney movie. Garbage. Um, I would win without much trouble. I would punch this guy in his stupid prosthetic nose and in his stupid prosthetic ears. Lucky the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms. This guy's being punted to the moon. Um, this guy is just bullied constantly in the commercials by the kids. And, um, yeah, I, I would I would do the same to him. He's just He just looks bullyable, um, if, if we're being honest. Look at him. Next up, I'm going to go a little out of order here. We have two Leprechauns from The Simpsons. And I think both of these would be ones I could take, but I think I would take some injuries in these fights. Um, they are pretty scrappy, but they are very small as well. Homer's able to pick them up in the show without much trouble, um, and they cuss him out and yell at him, but uh, not a whole lot there to worry about. So we have the regular Leprechaun and the North Irish Leprechaun. Both of these I think I would win with some injuries. The Notre Dame Leprechaun mascot I think I'd lose pretty easily. I think he's a little tougher than the Celtics mascot. Um, if you look at his fist, he is ready for a fight. He looks like he's already half drunk, um, as is the Irish way. He looks like he is ready to go, and uh, he looks in more better shape than the Celtics guy. So, yeah, uh, I think I'd lose pretty easily, if I'm being honest. South Park, you know, the, these kids were able to capture this leprechaun. I feel like I could do the same. I think I would win without much trouble. Um, however, it is, the, it is South Park, so I'll give a little more respect to this baby than the real baby or lucky. Um, but yeah, I think I'd win without much trouble on this guy. That's it, guys. These are all the leprechauns that exist ever. Now, there's more out there, but out of these guys, this is how I would do in a fight against them. What do you think? 
Am I an idiot? Would I lose to some of these? Would you beat these? Are there other leprechauns or other things you would like me to fight? Let me know. If you like random tier lists, sub, like, comment, all that good stuff. Anything you want to do, appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys watching up until this point. With all that said, guys, this has been the guy who makes random tier lists, and I'm signing out.